What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel with me, Mrs. Z1. So I'm pretty excited about this game. This game is called Cozy Grove, and I haven't really watched a whole lot about the game, but just looking at it, it gives me like a Don't Starve kind of Stardew Valley feel to it and i'm really excited to play this if you guys are interested in this game i will have a link down below if you enjoy the episode please don't forget to leave a like and if you haven't already please consider subscribing as well and if you want to hang out i got the rest of my social things down below love to have you on any of those I stream on twitch we do we have a discord server instagram all that fun things all that fun stuff so let's go ahead and start Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be designing ourselves. Also, want to let you guys know that this game is not available right now. It will actually be available tomorrow, I believe, on the 8th um, on Steam as well as all the other major consoles. So make sure you are wishlisting it now. Okay, this is what we are going to go with. Looking good. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout motto. All those who are lost deserve kindness. Okay, let's go. Look at how cute our little lady is. Oh my gosh, this game is just so cute. Okay, I think that's our fire. Calf, calf, calf. This is flamey. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? A haunted barren... What? I hope this is not a haunted bear infested island. Some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove? I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah, well. If you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? I think so. Good enough. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Oh, look, our flame is getting bigger. Oh, do we need to like set up our tent? I guess not. Oh, there's this, there's the, there's the ghost. Hello, ghost. Oh, it's a big ghost. Ha, another imaginary camper. This is Charlotte Pine. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my... You're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. That's right. 100% bona fide scout. Is that a problem? A problem. Hmm. 
You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there. You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wooden log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Okay, so it also looked like we had several hearts above her. So maybe we have to build up our relationship with her. Okay, we're looking for a wooden log. You like chop down any of these trees? Sometimes objects are hidden on the ground. Oh, there it is right there. It's right next to the fire. Pick up. Hold in hand. Here's a log for you. Oh my gosh. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? A ghost told me about it. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who you are or how they died, if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, that spirit wood has finally caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, a crafter of useful things. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find some more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire's sure to call some distant campers home. Okay, looks like we're going to be... Oh, look! Story advanced. Oh, look! Oh, that's what the hearts are. Oh my gosh, do we get coins? Oh, look! It's like colorful now. What do we use the coins for? She doesn't really look like a uh, a ghost anymore. Okay, can we use this thing over here? To like cook up some meat? I don't think so. Oh, look, we can go up higher. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we have another ghost over here. <gasps> what is that? Oh, it ran away. Okay, let's talk to this guy and we'll see if maybe we can find some more wood. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Apology accepted. That's very, very, very kind of you. More than I deserve, I'm sure. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be hunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Okay, so we're looking for logs and branches. I just realized down here is the time and the date. And this is like the actual time and date. And so I'm wondering if I play like earlier in the day, if it would be brighter out. We'll have to see. I have one branch. I see our friend right over here. Don't run away. Oh, there's two of them. Oh. Okay, we're looking for more logs and more branches. There's a kite up here. Oh, we have badges. 
Spirit Scouts are diligent. One of 31 earned. We got the Log Burner Beginner. Collect. Log Burner Beginner. Reach Fire Level 2. You received 100 old coins. I see another stick. Okay, some of these logs are really... I have not seen any more logs. I'm still missing one more stick. <gasps> Here's another stick. Okay, let's make it back to our ghosty friend. Crafter. Or crafting friend. See what they'll make us with three sticks or twigs. Look at these sticks. What beauties. A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the lathe. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, then shovel that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> Darn it! Darn it! One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log too. Yes! Okay, those look creepy. Story advanced. Okay. Oh, those are running away. Can we pick up these things? No. Okay, so we got another log. Let's go ahead and put it on the fire. And then I want to scoop up some of these dirt mounds. Here's a log for you. Well done. My light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh? He looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Okay, let's hold this in our hand. Can we shovel? How the heck do we shovel? I'm not really sure how the shoveling works. <gasps> Look at these guys. Oh, they were so cute. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. In life, I was a bear o the sea. I sped from a cozy grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly, twist the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. And now I am transformed. A vast young person, how long have ye been stationed there? Be standing there. Ye caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Bill Weather Snout. Though some call me the Seagull Bear. Pleased to meet you, Bill Weather. I don't know as we've reached a first name basis, young sailor. Captain, will do. Tis a strange thing to be a Seagull Bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except for, co of course, for the love of fish. Speaking of, are ye hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show ye what's on the menu. Okay, so it looks like we need to get a fishing rod. Buy it from Mr. Kit's store. Okay, where is Mr. Kit? And how do I use this shovel that I have? <gasps> look, you just look so cute. Oh my gosh, these guys are just the cutest. Can I help you with something? 
Sometimes you can find things on the island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles laying around? Try digging those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Okay, so it looks like we need to be... Oh my gosh, this must be the, the person we're looking for. Mr. Kit. Why, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me, I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all of your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. I want to buy something. Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. Okay, so we need a fishing rod. Buy for 20 old coins. Let's purchase that. I can part with this ocean fishing rod for 20 old coins. How's that sound? Sounds great. Take my money. Okay, we got it. Hey, sailor. That will do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you, you're you going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Okay, we're going to catch us a whopper. Okay, let's hold this in our hand. Wait, do we need to talk to him again? How the heck do we fish? Are you going to help us some more? Har, supposing ye want some fishing lessons then. Yeah, that would be helpful. Very well. Select your fishing rod, then use the holds and hand button to equip it. Drag back on the rod and release to cast the line. Try it yourself, young, sh young sailor. Okay, there we go. We are a fishing. What happens when something bites? Do we just click? I don't know. How do we know when something's biting? I guess we just wait. I thought something was on my line, but I guess not. <laughs> so I guess we're waiting again. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Caught us a fish yet? No. Remember, go to the shore and look for the shadow of a fish. You didn't tell me that! Drop your bobber right in front of its mouth. When it bites, click anywhere to pull in the fish. Once you've got a fish, drag it from your backpack to onto me. Okay. We're looking for the shadow of a fish. Oh, I see one. Come on, take a bite. Wait until the fish bites hard and is hooked before reeling in. Oh, darn it. Is it still over there? Nope. There's one far, far, far over there, though. Are you going to see my bobber? I don't know if you're going to see it. You're awfully far away. Little fish, turn around. Look to the side. Look, look to the side. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be a no-go. Okay, let's go find another fish. Oh, it looks like we got a couple more badges. Tutorial completer. We got 300 coins for that. Heck yes. And exploration. 10 quartz gemstones. Ooh, that's cool. We're meeting three 
bears. Okay, let's go find us another fish. Oh, there's fishes everywhere. Someone's, there's a fish looking at it. Oh, did we get it? Did we catch a fish? We caught a fish, yes. Ah, uh, collapsed lungfish. Okay, that will do. He said he only needed one fish, any kind. Ah, uh, a fine fin you've managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think ye and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat washed out to sea. Oh no, my boat did what? We're trapped. Oh yes, a loose knot in a fickle tide was all it took to send ye vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself. This island is a maelstrom of ill fortunes churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans ye had of solving all of our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. <laughs> We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors, Squawk. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, we got another spirit log. <gasps> what are you? Oh my gosh, we're just getting cuter and cuter, like more cuter ghosts. Oh, and this, pl in this area is starting to become lively too. Oh, there's a, a leaf pile. Let's hold this in our hand. <gasps> we found the page. That's what our friend wanted. The ranger. Hello, ranger. I found your page. That's it. Why, it's an old spirit scout wilderness guide. And hey, the memento collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress, helping local spirits, which I have to admit you've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to the book and use it to track your progress, helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at Memento's collection book now? Yes. Show me my sweet relationship progress. That's the spirit. Here it is. Oh, okay. Three of 17 spirits we've found so far. Oh my goodness. We are going to find some more spirit friends. <gasps> and we got another log. Oh. <gasps> Look at that. We're livening up the area. Okay, let's put some more logs on here. Here's a log for you. Delicious. Mmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sense a log in your bag. Uh, yeah. Here's another log for you. Ah, uh, another healthy dose of a positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may be slow at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears, guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further, illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You too have that in common, I think. Uh, looks like our ranger needs something again. Can I help you with something? You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Okay, so we need to go purchase the young, placid bird. I want to buy something. Looks like we're looking for this one. A happy spirit animal. Uh, feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Surrounded with items, it likes to increase your harvest. Buy for 250 coins. Likes decorations, lamps, and rustic decor. Dislikes imps. Okay, let's purchase it. 
Sounds great. Take my money. Purchased. Looks like we still have 169 coins. And let's go talk to our ranger friend. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But then, but when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll, I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Oh, and we got another, uh, another log. Okay, let's come over here to this guy. This guy needs our help. Je uh, Jeremy Gruffle, can I help you with something? Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. For what? I made you that slip shod shovel earlier, hoping... A good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First, though, I'm going to need some soft wood, root vegetables, and wood branches. Any root, harvest from dirt mounds with the shovel, and then harvest from leaf piles, fruit trees, and dirt mounds with the shovel. So we're looking for three roots and five branches. And our friend over here wants something too. A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Okay, so we're looking for five feathers. It was near a folding chair. I saw a folding, oh, I see, there was one feather right there. I saw a folding chair somewhere. I don't remember where though. Oh, there's a feather right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's like black and white. Oh, there's another feather. Oh, we got a leaf pile over here. Anything good? What is that? Hardwood and brown mushrooms. Can we scoop these? No. Oh, here's our other friend. Who is this? Patrice Furback, the postal bear at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life and I was, but I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag? <laughs> oh, busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went Boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town's post office at 0800 Sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residents. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals but i'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down okay so we're looking for another package oh is this another campfire i don't think i can do anything with it oh here's another pile we got a branch we got some more mushrooms Found another feather. I think we're only missing one more feather. Oh, here's the folding chair. Oh, there's the package. What is that? What in the heck is that? Okay, still missing one more feather. 
Well, we do have a spirit log, so let's go ahead and give this guy another log. Here's a log for you. Gulp. Only four more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log. They're eager to give you if you can help them. Okay, so it looks like every time it's going to cause us to get more and more logs. This rock looks like it might contain valuable ore. Harvest. This object can only be harvested with the correct tool. Oh, no. What about that? Uh, wait patiently to get delicious fruit. Harvest. Oh, we got some branches and stuff from that. So I guess we can harvest these, these trees. Not that tree. This tree. Harvest. Okay, so we've completed the package. So let's go ahead and go over to our friend and give them the package. Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package. The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address. Let me be straight with you. I love this job. But I could use a postal helper to help me with the USDs. A postal helper? How exciting. Oh, yes. The thrill of the post. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Aramaic or spewing demon fire, well, you just send that puppy my way. Okay. <laughs> Are they opening something? I don't know. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. Oh, we got two letters? Hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you would see how it works. I've also included a small thank you gift for your help. 10 parsnips. Oh, sweet. Thanks so much. Cheerio, Scout. Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself. And when you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. I'll try to write you to you every day unless I get busy. And they, he gave me a common log cabin antique. So nice. Oh, and we got another log. <gasps> oh, we got coins popping up. There's a house or the postal area. Okay, we're still looking for more logs, still looking for more feathers and more branches, I guess. More branches. What is that? A sweet potato. Okay, we found a sweet potato. I have another log for you. More. Only three more logs before I'm full. I sense at least two logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Oh, here's another thing to scoop up. No more branches, though. Can we scoop whatever's in here? What the heck is in there? <gasps> Coins! Okay, we're still looking for another feather. Oh, there's the other feather right there. And we're still looking for another branch. Hmm. 
Okay, let's give this guy his feather squawk. That's a fine set of feathers. But why bother helping me, little castaway, when ye have such troubles of your own? Just being neighborly. Hard neighborly. Ye might find somewhat put stock in that concept here on Cozy Grove. But it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, I th thank ye. With these bits of fluff pat in my coat, the wind's bite doesn't lose its teeth. But bundled so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me clear as white rum. Even in death, ye cannot refeather ye wings. Okay, we are advancing the story. We got another... Wait, can we scoop this up? We got another log. I'm just looking for... Another... Twig. Another branch. Stick. Whatever you want to call it. That's what we're looking for. What is this? <gasps> Sweet potato! Oh, is there a stick in here maybe? Oh, <gasps> there is! Yes! Oh, I found another pile. <gasps> More sticks! Yes! Okay, let's go talk to our crafting buddy and then we will put the, the logs on the fire. Make our flamey guy happy. That's quite a lot of materials you've gathered, and I bet you're wondering what sort of tool is he going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass the skill on to you, I can pass on myself. My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. I want to make something right now. Great. Let me show you to my workshop. <gasps> oh, we can craft soft wood, hard wood, semi-precious stone, precious stone, silver, gold, common log cabin chair, common log cabin table, fence, log cabin fence, log cabin fence, and a planter. Cool. Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff he's given us. Thank you so much, dude. Okay, let's come over here. Here's a log for you. Delicious. Only two more logs before I'm full. I sent a log in your bag. We got one more. Yum. Just one final log and I'll be full. I'm not sensing any more spirit logs. Check back with the spirits tomorrow to see if they need help. For now, maybe go fishing or collect some seashells. Okay, so I wonder if this is like actual days. You have to like wait till tomorrow in like real life. Because I mean, like I said, this is this is still like the exact day. Like this is the time and the date that I'm recording right now. <laughs> so I'm thinking you're gonna have we're gonna have to come back at another date to play this some more. So let me know down in the comments. Do you guys want to see some more of this video? What are your thoughts about it so far? And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as well. Thank you guys so much for coming out to watch, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everybody!